Good morning and welcome to the vlog. This morning, you're out with me, I'm out training. And what that means is today we are doing hill repeats, which is about as fun as it sounds for a guy my size. So we've got an ascent that I will climb here. It's a nice wide road. It is a service road. So there's no vehicles, which is awesome. And we're gonna repeatedly climb to the top. And overall what that means is we're probably gonna do about between four and 600 meters of climbing today. Descent is obviously the best part of this. Now we're wearing the Fourth Frontier heart rate monitor. We've been using that for several months now to a kind of assess our training load and where we're landing and building upon that. It has been a great device for that. Not using Strava anymore since they raised the prices of that. And to be honest, the Force Frontier software is absolutely free. So some questions that I have got is why would you use the Force Frontier over the Apple Watch? And simply put, it can pull metrics that the watch can't. More specifically, the electrocardiogram. So during this entire workout, my heart will be recording an ECG. So if I have anything that comes up of concern, it's an easy print it to a PDF, send it to my doctor. Now, you can do an electrocardiogram on your Apple Watch, and I do wear one. But the problem is, is you've got to put your finger on the crown, kind of sit still, and get your reading. And when you're working, like I am now, up this nice steep gradient, that just isn't 100% possible. It is a super sunny day, but luckily there's a nice cool wind blowing in. So this isn't the worst this could be from a heat perspective. Now I'm doing these repeats without any power meters. I know that's gonna cause my friend Mitch on two wheels a bunch of stress. What I do is I pace myself based on heart rate. Now, the good thing about heart rate, if you know your zones, you know where you wanna be. The issue is, is that your heart rate can spike pretty quick. Uh, and if it goes too high, it's almost too late. And that's the advantage of power is if you know where you are power-wise, you're probably not gonna have that spike. But to the same extent, depending on how your body is that day, if you're not paying attention to your heart rate, it can cause you problems too. You can do power that you're used to doing, and sure enough, you will blow up as well. So there are var variable factors involved in this kind of stuff. Going on 300 meters now. I know this probably doesn't look that steep on camera. That's yeah, got a nice little kick.
right, well, I got a few more of these to do, and then we will head back, cool down, do some stretches, put on the legs, get all that lactic acid out. We race tomorrow, first time, new category for me, so it's gonna be interesting. I don't know what to expect. I just kinda of wanna hang on as long as I can and hopefully not get punted out the back, but that's a real possibility. I just wanna put in the best effort possible and hopefully, you know, put on a good performance. But we got a few more of these to do. So I will catch you guys back in the office. So back in the office, we can take a look at the Fourth Frontier website. We can quickly select our training ride and then we will get all the metrics collected throughout that training ride. Everything from heart rate to the electrocardiogram to the heart rate variability to heart strain, you name it. And again, you can export that to PDF if you need. You can also take a look at both your minimums and maximums during the workout as well as you can go over and you can check out your general trends overall. As a whole, the software is great. I think the metrics are fantastic. It is far superior information that I am getting versus my Apple Watch. Again, it is limited to 30 second cardiograms and you have to be stopped with your finger on the crown of the button of the watch in order to do that. And that's just simply not possible during cycling. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please remember like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button to get notifications. And if you have any questions about the Fourth Frontier heart rate monitor, please do leave them down below. Thank you.